Good morning, folks. Welcome to the Clear Creek Cabin. So today what I'm going to do is cut a, a piece of metal roofing for a little addition to our chicken coop. Um, maybe you folks out there don't really know how to do this. It's something that it's really pretty easy to do if you can set it up and, uh, and uh, make it easy on yourself. So I'll show you how I do it. Uh, I can't guarantee that this is the way everybody says to do it, but this is the way a homeowner can do it very easily. Uh, and I've done it many times this way before. So what I do is I set up two saw horses. I put on two pieces of two by four, as you can see, two eight foot pieces of two by four. And then what I do is take other little pieces of two by four and run them across on top of that to make kind of a ladder here to hold the metal, as you can see, up a few inches from the two by four so you don't cut into these when you get ready to use your saw. So pretty much you take your measurement as to what you're going to do. We need a 48 inch length today. So what you can do is move your little ladders over to where you need them to be for your cut. And support them real well underneath. And then you just take a little ledger board, something that you can use as the edge for your saw, and you can mount that right at 48 inches. And then what I do is I clamp it down. Okay, just a note, remember that I'm gonna use this edge of this board as a guide to get a straight edge along the edge of this part of the saw. Now, had I put this at 48 inches, we would have been way off. So what I need to do is I need to measure to the center of the blade, to the edge of this rip edge on the uh, saw, and I've got an inch and five eighths to the center of that blade. So what I need to do is I need to move this back an inch and five eighths so that I get a true 48 to the center of the blade. If you're off by a 16th, it isn't gonna matter in this kind of work. Forty-six and three-eighths is what we need to make it. Okay, one last double check. Forty-six and three-eighths plus five-eighths is forty-seven plus the one inch is forty-eight. So my blade will cut right at forty-eight inches an inch and five eighths off this edge over here. So double check, secure down our clamps, make sure they're good. And make sure you wear safety glasses. And again, remember, put the blade in backwards and then don't forget to put it back around the other way before you cut wood. So here we go. And take your time, you're not in a race. So as you can see, you get a nice straight edge from that. No using tinge to snips. Uh, I, we bought a, a uh, battery operated metal cutter that didn't work at all. But as you can see, that's a nice beautiful edge. And we should be right on 48. Bingo. So we're all set there, folks. Now what I need to do is I need to trim this in the other direction. For our particular need, we need to have 15 inches from this little drip edge over here into this part. So I'll flip it around and cut on the other side. But you don't need to see that today. I just want to be able to show you the basic concept. So again, just to go through it with you, put down some two by fours on a, um, on a couple of sawhorses, spread them out where you need them, get a couple more two by fours to lay on top to create this ladder effect do it all the way across your entire piece of metal so that you keep it all nice and straight. Get yourself a nice straight edge board to be able to use as your rip fence. And uh, pretty much that's it, that's simple. So just a little tip here from the Clear Creek Cabin when you're cutting metal. Stop in and see us again. Give us a subscribe, give us a like up. Likes up, like up, give us a likes up. Hey, you know what I mean, give me a thumb. Take care folks, God bless you till the next time we see you.